Windows is a marvelous operating system. Everyone uses it. You may be a media editor. Yes, I'm a media editor on budget because I would have a Mac otherwise. A hardcore gamer. A OnlyFans create. A programmer. I just found the solution. But we all know, Windows always breaks. Hi there, bros. My name is Brett Pro, and welcome to another video. So we all know that Windows is the best at breaking. After an update, after you install something, we all know it breaks. When Windows breaks, what we do is reinstall Windows, reset Windows. But there are two problems with this. The first one is you don't want to lose your data. Or the second one, your PC won't boot at all to Windows. So what are you going to do? Well, you came to the right video. Or right guy. So let's just get into it. Well, here we are at the desktop. First of all, you need to boot into safe mode. Let's say your computer isn't that much corrupted and you can boot into Windows. What you do is you go to start, click the power button, hold shift on your keyboard, and then click on restart. And you'll be here. But if your PC doesn't boot at all, turn it off. And what I need you to do is when you reach the boot screen with the rotating loading screen, I want you to power off your machine. You have to do that repeatedly until it shows diagnosing this PC. I will show you how to do that. So when it's here, when the loading shows up, I power off. Now power on again. When the loading shows again, power off again. Power on again. Repeat this until diagnosing shows up. And it says preparing automatic repair. Okay, now you need to wait. Here, click on advanced options. And we are at the same screen as before. Now, click on troubleshoot, advanced options, startup settings, and click on restart. Here, I suggest you enable safe mode with networking. Click on F5 on your keyboard. So now, I want you to right click the start button and click on Windows PowerShell Admin, or it can be Command Prompt or Windows Terminal Admin. It depends on which one is default for you. Click on it. These are the three main commands that you will have to run. I have put them in the description so you can just copy paste them. And this safe mode has internet connection so you can open my video on the browser. So step by step we do first an advanced scan. This command will find errors and tell you if there are errors with the Windows system components. This one will use Windows update to restore the health of the Windows components. And the third one will use these installed components and fix Windows. I'll skip the first step because it will just tell you if there are any errors. While this one will do the first one and then fix them at the same time. So it's two in one. Copy it. Right click to paste it and enter. If it seems like the loading is stuck, don't worry, that's normal. A trick I do is I resize the window like this and it will refresh it. Well, the operation completed successfully. Now, execute the other command. Right click to paste it. Enter. Well, 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 guess I'm lucky. Windows Resource Protection did not find any integrity violations. If you had any problems, it will say Windows Resource Protection fixed some corrupted stuff. Now that this is finished, click on Start and Restart. Hopefully that the problem is fixed. And you boot it into normal Windows again. Now, let's take the worst case scenario into consideration. Your PC is completely corrupted. It doesn't boot. Do the same thing. Click on advanced options, now here, troubleshoot, and click on reset your PC. 
and then click on keep my files. What this will do is it will uninstall everything, reset Windows to zero, but keep your personal files. Well, if your Windows is like beyond repair and even this doesn't fix it, well, you can install it manually by yourself. I've already uploaded a video about that. A card will pop up right now. So check that out. Well, that's all here. Well, that was interesting. If this video helped you, leave a like. If you have any questions or something's wrong, comment below. <laughs> Don't leave a dislike, just comment below. And subscribe to become a pro and look forward to more ways to fix Windows because it will probably break again. Bye.